605 thousands of refugee families now call Arizona their home, but each year many new arrivals are still coping with the trauma and need support. That's where a local nonprofit wants to step in and cater to their needs to express. Our Brooke Chow joins us live this morning from the group's offices. Brooke, we're taking a closer look at this meaningful work people are helping them do. It's a getting there in touch with their artistic side. Yeah, so this nonprofit is called Owl and Panther, and they really hope to inspire those arriving refugees that are coming right here to Tucson through the arts. You could see a lot of their artwork right here, where they're able to express themselves and also learn a little bit more about our community right here in southern Arizona. So Tucson is actually a resettlement city, so a lot of these refugees are coming from places like Ukraine and Africa. Some of them are even seeking asylum. But there's a new wave of refugees arriving right here to the old Pueblo, and Owl and Panther is doing their best to keep up. In any given year, Owl and Panther is serving anywhere between uh, 80 and 90 uh, individuals. Uh, however, this year we've doubled uh, because we're now serving Afghan refugees as well uh, through a contract with uh, the Arizona Department of Economic Security. Owl and Panther has been able to serve refugees from 35 countries. Now, this is a self-graduation and open-door organization, so participants can really be able to come and go as they wish, but a lot of them actually choose to stay right here in Tucson long-term because of the opportunities and people they meet. Now, Owl and Panther relies solely on donations and volunteers to get those programs and services up and running, just like the arts program that they have right here. So I'll have a whole breakdown on our website, kagan9.com. If you're looking to help with those influx of refugees that are arriving to Southern Arizona, each month. They need help again with those programs and services, but also with clothes, food, shoes. This is a whole new climate for them and a new environment, so they need to come prepared and they need our help. So again, I'll have all of that on our website, kega9.com. For now, I'm live in Tucson. I'm Brooke Chow. Kega9 on your side.